Hello everyone, this is God of Christian 9 here again with Let's Play Lego Indiana Jones. And today we do the final story mission or chapter. The Temple of the Holy Grail. Okay, so we start out in the Canyon of the Crescent Moon, which is what it was called in the movie, with a bunch of soldiers. And before I move on, hit those two uh, support beans that I just did. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing with a lot of soldiers, and they will not stop coming out. But anyways, we start out this with our heaviest party yet. We have Indiana, Shala, Brody, and Henry Jones. So yeah, there's a lot of people in this course. But that number gets um, shortened down pretty quickly. But anyways, uh, let's go after our first treasure. We pick up this key up here. And this allows us to free the horses. You're free. Anyways, uh, get a horse. And take it over here. Back to where you started. Oh, I gotta dig that up. But, um... Yeah, there it is. Have the horse catapult you up. And there are quite a few studs up there, including one or two purples. Oh, there's the parcel. Huh. So that's what was there. But I believe we need explosives in order to get to the, um, what's it? The mailbox. So, yep, can't do anything there yet. All right, you need uh, a scholar for this part. Use either Brody or um, Henry. It doesn't, the game doesn't really give a dang. All right, so, uh, and we have two glyphs we have to solve. And this will solve number one. And you see that raises up a little. And can I get over? Yes, I can. Yeah, actually, I think that's how you get over to the second glyph. So let's get the second glyph solved. <laughs> it looks like a Tetris piece, doesn't it? That reveals two switches. And with those switches, we'll be able to enter the temple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the mailbox, you have to blow up those cars over there that had the soldiers because they're shiny and all that. So you got to blow it up and blah, blah, blah. We'll deal with that later. Anyways, uh, let's collect some studs. Um, all right, obviously we got to find two pieces. Otherwise, we can't continue. All right, so obviously we need Shala here to dig. For some reason, he took the torch. I don't know why. Yeah, if you have the smoke trailing behind you, that means you have a torch with you, so, you know, I'm not farting or anything. Alright, so let's move over here into the ne next area. Oh, uh, yeah, you do need a torch. My bad. Let's see. There you go. And that activates uh, this glyph. So I retract my previous statement. You do need the torch. Another Tetris piece, and we get the other thing. Alright, a thuggy statue, so obviously there's something there, but we can't do that yet, sadly. So let's walk this little piece over here. Yeah, this this course can be a bit of a tricky one, especially when you get to the um, the first one where there's all those blade traps. You'll see in a, You'll see in a moment. Okay, so we've gotten to a unique uh, thing in the game. For the first and only time, Indiana spawns with a book. And uh, you need it basically for the uh, purpose of the movie. But anyways, uh, that glyph activates these traps here. And you got to be time it carefully, otherwise you're going to die. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of careful timing in this room anyways. But, um, yeah, all right, be careful of this bridge because some parts do fall off, I believe. All right, I need to be careful here. Yeah, I knew I, knew I was going to die, but just, like, go right in there and uh, you'll get the treasure and you'll die. But, um, you know, at least you'll have the treasure. All right, so... Doing that, ra uh, do that railing, and that uh, boots up the next um, part. So, um, here, I'll go with it, Deanna, I guess. You gotta time this right. All 
Ah, didn't get it. Yeah, the the spike the spikes will get you. Okay, so I narrowly avoided death there. All right, so um, now we're done with that. Use that whip, and I believe that goes somewhere. Obviously, uh, do 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 do. All right, Shala again. Oh, what's with these idols? Oh, by the way, um, there shouldn't really be any enemies in this course besides the final boss battle. So, um, yeah, the only way you're really going to die here is if you um, fall into one of the traps or something like that. All right, so there's really nothing else in this spot here. So move on over across the bridge. All right, there's another treasure there, but we need, um, for like pretty much the first and one of the few times in the game, we need a sword in order to get that treasure, so just skip it for now. All right, so let's push this back. This takes a while, but uh, you can see the spears are slowly retracting from the, um, you know, thing. And when they're fully retracted, we can get that one Lego block there. So just jump down and pick up the block. I'm pretty sure the stat and uh, the trap stays shut, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> Start there. All right, we're slowly walking. Yeah, we won't be able to get many treasures in this course either. We only get like four, I believe, and we already got half of them. So, yep, this is a somewhat straightforward course. But again, uh, like I said in a previous episode. Um, prior knowledge of the movie is definitely going to help you out, especially with this, um, this thing here. I mean, this course. Although the game, the game doesn't, like, say, like, if you don't watch the movie, you don't go through. You, you, it, the game gives you big enough hints, so don't worry about it. Alright, so, um, do that. Obviously, this does something. It's a door, and it leads to a key. And look, Indiana actually keeps the um, uh, the book, too. So, yeah. Like I said, this is like the only time in the game where he he is a scholar character. Anyways, uh, more railing jumping. All right, there's a wrench thing, so obviously we can't do that yet. Um, be careful about that. Now, that's a purple one. Although, even if you do die, you lose less than you gain. So you might as well just kill yourself. But, um, not trying to sound emo or anything. But, um, anyways, uh, moving on. Swing across and use that, um, building thing to let Shala up. Obviously, we gotta get something going over here. Alright, there are snakes, so we can't use Indy for the moment. Quickly get the torch. And there you go. Now Indy will cross. Alright, so obviously we need Indy here. And that reduces the spikes, and now we can get this thing. And this will allow us to go to the next room. Just give us a minute. And now we pull the switch. And that will wheel that part across. You can beat it there if you want. Uh, Alright, so pick up the piece again. But yeah, go ahead and get that one purple set, though, because, you know, you only lose, like, two or three thousand when you fall. Alright, now here's the word of God. Now, um, in this, you have to step on the correct letters. And they flash, so, you know. You see, if you step on a wrong letter, the platform falls. And when you step on all the letters, the fal uh, false letters fall down, and the door opens up. All right, so we're on the last uh, trap, the um, Path of God, I believe. And I'll have to pause it here for now, because I'm pretty much out of time. I mean, I know I got up to 11 minutes, but I like to keep it 10. But anyways, this is Gaikush 9. Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion of pretty much the game. <laughs>